Here's another example, a little bit longer. The order of maintain 12.5 milligram per kilogram per mouth every 12 hours. The child weighs 22 pounds. Mr. Diaz sends a 75 milliliter bottle of Augmentine label 125 milligram per five milliliters. How many milliliters will you pour from the bottom? Okay, so we have a problem. The medicine is available in solid format, but what we have available is in liquid format, milliliters. So here we go with the question. What is the order? 12.5 milligram per kilogram. So one dose, I need to give 12.5 milligram for every kilogram the child's weight. The next thing is, where do I want to go? What I want to give? How many milliliters I'm going to give the patient one time? Okay. And again, I'm using the guiding questions to set up the dimensional analysis. The next question is what I have on hand. It's 125 milligram per five milliliter. Can I multiply by that fraction so the word mg cancels out? No, so I'm gonna have to do the reciprocal 125 mg over five ml. That's what I have, five ml over 125 mg. Why the milligrams cancel out? And you can see now that my medicine on the top Okay, my work on the top so far is exactly what I want in milliliters. However, there's a problem here. This is the amount, when the amount that was given, it was 12.5 for every kilogram that the child uh, weighs. But the child is 22 pounds. So that means I need more information. But what are my equivalents? What additional information I need. Well, I want to cancel out the word kilogram. So I'm going to have to use this uh, fraction. Whether we get this, it says that the way I got this is that one kilogram is the equivalent of 2.2 pounds. Why I'm using this fraction? Because the word kilogram cancels out. However, I had this word here, pounds. I don't want pounds on the bottom. What I want at the end is patient per dose. So here comes the next additional information that I need and is that one child, one patient weighs 22 pounds. See, that was given in the problem. But instead of having one patient on the top, 22 pounds on the bottom, I chose the reciprocal of that fraction because I want to cancel out the word pounds. And now if you observe carefully, Look on the top, what's the only word left? Milliliter. Look on the bottom, what is the only words left? Patient over those. Exactly what I wanted. Now I'm ready to multiply top with top, bottom with bottom. So 12.5 times 5 times 1 times 22. I will get that number. 1 times 125 times 2.2 times 1. I get that number. Then I divide those two. And that's how I get that I have five milliliters for one patient per dose. Whew, that was long. But again, if you notice, I was using the same basic idea. I'm multiplying by fractions. And my goal is I will set up the fraction in a way that will cross cancel the words that I don't want to get the words that I want. And when I say words, I mean units of measurement. All right, I, shown, uh, I have shown you three examples. Now it's your turn to check yourself if you are getting the basic idea of all of this. So hit the pause button, try this problem out, and when you're ready, hit the play button and check yourself. Here we go. First, let me show you. Here's how you set it up. If you're wondering why, this first fraction is the order that came from here. Okay, 12, 1250 milliliters and 2.5 hours. Okay, that was the given, the order. Um, the next thing is where I'm going. 
Okay, so what I want is drops. This is the abbreviation for drops. I want I want drops per minute. So if you look on the top here, I have milliliters, but I don't want milliliters. I want drops. And on the bottom here, I have hours, but I don't want hours. I want minutes. That's why the next thing I'm going to do is, or I'm going to ask myself, what, does I, what I have on hand? And what I have on hand is 15 drops per milliliter, per one milliliter. And I set up that fraction that way because the word milliliters are going to cancel out. I don't want milliliters on the top. I want drops on the top. And you can see now I have drops. However, I'm going to need something more because I want to cross out the word hour. And what are you going to need? You need something more. We call it, you're going to, this is going to be called in, in MetMath equivalents. Okay. And what do you need? Well, you need to find out how many minutes are in an hour. And in one hour, you have 60 minutes. Now, why I set it up, set up the fraction that way? Because I want to cancel out the word hour. And now when you look on the top, I only have the abbreviation for drops on the top. And I have the abbreviation for minutes on the bottom. And then I'm just going to multiply top with top and bottom with bottom. Okay. And that's how you get the 25 drops per minute. I hope this helps.